just checking in about my 32 week um, checkup with my doctor. Um, it's a little late, I'm sorry, it's about a week late, so 33 weeks now. Um, but I wanted to tell you guys about my 32 week checkup. Um, basically, I just went to the doctor and um, my blood pressure was fine. My weight was not so fun. Um, my doctor said that I'm hitting the 25 pound mark and the average weight for the pregnancy is 25 to 35 pounds. And since I had eight weeks left, she's like, you need to just, you know, watch what you eat or whatever. So. Slow down. So I feel like a little fatty right now, but, um, whatever. Because I feel like I weighed a lot when I gave birth to Dakota. So I'm not too, too worried about it. I'll, I'll work it off. <laughs> um, so yeah. Um, she still had down. My blood pressure, oh, let me go back, okay. Blood pressure was fine. Um, weight sucked, obviously. Um, everything else was fine. She still had down, so that's good. I think she's going to stay in that position. Let's hope and pray that she stays in that position. Um, uh, no dilation yet, but my doctor is going to check me because, um, I did have a couple contractions. Um, a few days before, you knew about that, um, a few days before my, um, doctor's appointment, um, I had, like, four contractions, but they weren't, they weren't, um, help me out, I have pregnancy brain. Uh-huh. Um. You're not severe enough? They no. weren't contracted contractions? They weren't just, they weren't timed correctly, I guess, I guess. You know, they're supposed to be, like, you know, real contractions will get closer together and stronger, whereas mine weren't consistent. Mine weren't consistent. Mm -hmm. Um, there was, like, two minutes apart, and then there was, like, four, and then it was eight, and then it was, like, ten. So, it really, it was getting further apart, which is fine, which is good, because we don't want to have the baby right this minute anyways. No. Um, but she said because... I haven't put the dresser together yet. Yeah, he hasn't put the dresser together. So anyways, that's a whole nother video. <laughs> um, like I was saying, so she's going to check, she decided that she wants to check me every single visit. Just because I've had contractions. Yeah, she's going to check me every single visit now. Just to see if I'm going to start dilating early. Since I did start dilating early with that one in there. Um, so, I... I, I think the baby's coming. Not too early, but I'm thinking my original day was what, 25th? Mm -hmm. 25th? I'm thinking more like 17th, 18th. That gives a month. Nice, because that's when I had, had it guessed, I guess, 18th or 19th. Cool. Anyways, so lots of round ligament pains, um, shooting straight down to that area. Yeah, not comfortable at all, but, I mean... Sometimes I've seen an arm come out. No, but sometimes it does feel like she's, like, right there, like, about to pop out. I know when I was pregnant with Dakota, it literally felt like either a hand or a foot was going to come out of my vagina. I know. The JJ. I'm sorry. Sorry I have to say it, but, yeah, it literally felt like it was coming out, like... When she would move, it was so weird. Kind of like so, a yeah. when he was coming out of the brain. No, that's gross. Anyways, so, so, um, lots of pressure, especially when I have a full bladder. Like, I feel like I'm about to go into labor any second when I have a full bladder until I relieve myself. <laughs> <laughs> relieve myself. I'm so I know, right? Um, <laughs> Anyways, I'm going every two, I have two more appointments that I go every two weeks, and then I start going weekly. Um, lots of Braxton Hicks. My tummy tightens all the time. Tightens. Um, not so much pain, except for the contractions that I had that one time, but, um, but just a lot of contraction, or a lot of Braxton Hicks tightening. It's not bad. Just... You're aware of it. Yeah, it's called a weenus. Sure. And then... Really? <laughs> God. Um, not sleeping well at all. Me at all. Like, 
seriously, not only because I'm waking up every sing every two hours to go pee, because that's not so much a problem for me, but it's just bad dreams and not being able to be comfortable and just back and forth, and my hips hurt from laying on one side, so I flip it to the next. 20 minutes later, that hip hurts, and it's just bad. It's weird. I have the same problems at night. I'm stuck. I'm sleeping on the couch. Because you sleep like a boomerang. Whatever, dude. Um, is that common, then? Nightmares? They're in, like, this late yeah. pregnancy? Yeah. Yeah. Definitely the closer you get to pregnancy. Um, pregnancy? Or, or birth, yeah. The further along you get in pregnancy, closer to birth, um, yeah, your mind's thinking about the baby, and you have fears and stuff like that, and bad dreams happen. I just don't like it. I don't like it. I didn't have very many with her. I think I was just too tired all the time. I was just too tired. So I'm exhausted, though. Like, and I read up on this, and, like, right about now, the fatigue kicks in all over again so I'm really tired throughout the day I really try to get in a nap when um, my daughter naps I really try to get one in and if I don't I'm dragging like today I didn't get one so I'm dragging today and then this one comes home and says let's make a video but he wouldn't put the dresser in bed anyways so because I worked for 12 hours today um, hospital bag. I've got my hospital bag packed, so I'm going to show you guys what I have in it. Um, usually people do it a little later. I think I'm just overly excited about having the baby. Yeah, it's back, and back about, what, a month six ago. months ago? <laughs> no, like a month ago, you jerk. Um, it started to be packed. It wasn't fully packed. But now it's, like, fully packed. Um, but also because I think, we do think she's going to come a little earlier than her due date. I'd like to be prepared and ready and that way, even if it doesn't happen here at home, if he needs to come get the stuff, I don't have to write him a list of everything that he needs. It's packed. It's ready. It's sitting by the door. He can just grab that and go. So, And then I wouldn't be frustrated in the hospital because he doesn't have something that I want. So, boppy pillow. Always good for breastfeeding, holding the baby. That's the same one that we have with the code. You can go back and look at some older videos and mm -hmm. see that she's in it. Mm -hmm. My princess. Alright, so this is my hospital bag. I hope you guys can see. Can they see this? Okay. Hope so. I have chapstick because your lips get very, very dry when you're laboring. I have my focal point, which is my father and me, of course, when I was skinny. That's my focal point. But you're skinny love, now. Love daddy and get skinny. <laughs> That's my focal point. Um, my birthing plan, because you should always have a birth plan. I guess. Yeah. Um, so I just printed this one off of Baby Center. And you can print it off and then you could fill in the blanks. Um, it's baby center. Women know what I'm talking about. So, <laughs> so yeah, so all I did was fill it out. Um, I'm giving a copy to my doctor, and then I'm also um, handing a copy to the nurse as soon as I check in at the hospital. And we did our hospital tour. I forgot to say that, too. Yep, we did that last night. So, you can tell them about that. Uh, we did a hospital tour last night. Um, it's pretty cool. A little bit, a little bit uh, better than what we had in Dakota. Um, the rooms that we saw weren't, weren't as big as the room that Dakota was born in, but the still, labor room. Yeah, it's still pretty nice. Mm -hmm. um, had cool lights in the ceiling. However, when we did deliver Dakota, we only used half of that room. Like it was a huge room. Like. You could have fit like but 20 had, people in there. I had a place to put my bag. But you never walked over there. Like, you know what I mean? You're right. You guys stayed by me and helped me. So it's like, you don't need that other half of the room. So really that, it wasn't necessary to have that big of a room. Now if the recovery room was that big, that would be nice. But the recovery rooms were really nice. 
um, at St. Mary's. Really, really nice. I really like it. It looks like a hotel. Anyways, okay, so let me finish with this. Alright, so I've got some undies here, some cotton undies. Because you guys Socks. Get... Socks. And these are really warm socks. These my daddy bought for me. I'm excited about that. And these I think my sister gave to me. But they're super warm socks because when you're in labor, like you get really, really hot and then you get really, really cold. And your feet are really cold too all the time. I think that's a warm thing. Um, nursing bra. Always need one of those. They say to pack like two or three, but really, like when I'm in the hospital, I don't, I'm usually in a gown or whatever, so I really don't care to have a nursing bra on unless you're going to have like a whole bunch of guests there that you want that um, you feel like you need to wear a bra around. I don't know. It's a couple people there. You don't want you to your baby just hanging out. Flopping in the wind. <laughs> well, you're in the bed. You're not flopping. Okay, so this bag came with the rest of my bags. So I just stuck it in here. Um, so this is my toiletry stuff. And, oh, this is my nursing cover that I got. 